It's not Dreamcast news, I'm afraid. Days Gone actors suggest some reviewers rushed through uh, the game uh, and published misleading reviews. Um, the I love Days Gone. I think Days Gone is probably the best zombie game out there, better than The Last of Us. Yep. I genuinely think that. It's party piece horde mechanics on the PS5. It works brilliantly on the PS5 because the frames don't drop that much. Fighting 300 zombies on a golf course is fun. And I know this because a friend of ours plays a game called State of Decay 2 and it's shit. Yeah. It really is. It has no animations. It is just the worst game ever. But this one here, it is great. Um, Days Gone has been the subject of debate uh, following the reveal that Sony Interactive uh, Entertainment shot down a sequel pitch since then, former and current developers have been weighing in on the matter. And so have fans who believe that Days Gone wasn't given a fair chance. Now, Deacon St. John actor Sam Whitwer, who voices lots of characters in Star Wars, has also claimed via a Reddit AMA, ask me anything, uh, suggesting that some reviewers didn't play the game through or rush through it, instead leading mis uh, giving misleading reviews. And he strikes the microphone. Um <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's the case because the part the game is a real slow burn. It's a real slow burn. Um, it takes a while, but it builds. And it's great because it builds in certain ways because you have the, the... What they've done, they've looked at the zombie movies and they looked at, uh, at how kind of the post-apocalyptic things happen. So you have the army that are, are in charge, yeah? Then you have, what's you have what's left of the army, what's left of the government, um, then you have the people that have gone mental, yeah, and then you have the survivors in there, and they've got different ways of surviving, yeah. So they literally went, oh, we'll pick all these, we'll have all of them, yeah. So you've got the military people who live on a place called Wizard Island, the former government, which are Nero, which is a great twist too. Then you've got the Rippers, who are the people who've gone completely barking crazy, yeah. And then you've got the three camps who try to do things normally. So you've got like kind of Iron Mike's camp, where they're kind of trying to reenact the way things were before the fall. You've got um, Addy's camp, who is, how can I put it, a bit on the communist side, which doesn't work. And then you've got the Preppers, which is, um, oh, I can't remember, uh, Co uh, Copeland's camp, yeah? And they all they all interact with you differently, and they all kind of have different ways of doing it. So you have to try and pick which one's, the, you know, the right one to do. And to be honest with you, it's the ones, it's the ones that just want to survive and try and get on, who are the right ones to do it. Then you have the, the Freakers. And the freakers are great because you get them in like kind of you get the ones that are nesting, you get the ones that are in hordes, you get the breakers, which are the giant beefy things, you get the rage of bears, which are fantastic. Um, and you've all these things that happen during the game. The rage of bear doesn't happen until after the halfway point. Yeah, you get attacked by the, the infected wolves sometimes when you're just bowling down on your bike, and all of a sudden, a, wolf, a very fast wolf managed to catch up with your bike and knock you off. It's a great game, and I have no idea why they wouldn't want to do a sequel for it. I think the initial problem was that it came out with bugs. It should have been pushed onto the Decimer engine, which is Sony's open world engine, which does Horizon Zero Dawn, Death Stranding, which both of them look fantastic. And I think that they could have pulled that better off with those engines. Um, now it's going to get second life on the PC. And it's, some of the things I've seen on the PC look fantastic, proper 4K. Um, some of the, the, the lighting effects are just mm, gorgeous. Um, but... I can understand the guy, um, Sam Witt, was upset with it because he, originally he was only contracted for two weeks for recording dialogue and lines. Anyway, two years later, he finishes off the game. <laughs> so he's had a lot of time with these people. So he's a lot of time. He's invested a lot of time into doing this. And um, I can understand why it was there. He said, uh, I read a review today from a uh, website slash publication that will remain nameless. In it, the horde mechanics, the show-stopping centerpiece of the game was not mentioned once. And it is. It is a show stop. It is. When you play it and you get attacked by a horde, especially right at the beginning, and you go past and you see like 200 things going into a train carriage, you're like... That's when you need stealth mechanics, Nige, because if you don't have stealth mechanics at that point in time, you are screwed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can I can understand his point of view. I mean, if you're not playing through the game properly and all the way through, um, then I think if you were involved in the game, you should be a bit aggrieved. And also, as a as a consumer, we really shouldn't just take one person's word for it. We should be looking at two, three, four views and 
checking out to see if they say the same thing because what knocks one person won't knock another so you really t- should take multiple views on a game if you really do want to take that sort of view and buy a game on someone's review but i i do recall that when this came out it yeah it it wasn't really up to standard and then they've patched it made it better over time so that would have impacted on the on the reviews and it would have got a lower score because of it because they review it before it's out and it came out not up to scratch yeah they fixed it but they're not going to redo their reviews and replay the game they've done their review they're not going to go back over it yeah yeah i get where you're coming from on that one um if they want Keith, better reviews... Hang on a second. Just give me a second. Keith, play mm-hmm. the bloody game. All yeah. right? Seriously. And Nige, play the bloody game. It's really good. Play it more. It really is. I play it more. Does it now work well on a PS4? <laughs> yes, it does. It worked well March of last year. March of last year, that, that thing was pretty much patched to as good as it gets. There, there are, I think there are a few things here and there, but most games have those few things here and there. Mm. Um it's it works it's it's great i enjoyed the hell out of it and especially it's got a twist ending guys it's got a twist ending my zombie movies usually do <laughs> Look, so, this yeah. is a really good twist ending this is a really good twist ending um i want i don't want a sequel to this game they they set it up for a sequel in the end they put things in there i'm i'm sorry to hear that the guy who created it's left um and i understand why he was upset with a lot of these things but Oh, please, please, I want a sequel. Today's gone. <laughs> and we'll move on. Hold our breath. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.